Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I am your wonderful host, Fontaman, and welcome to World of War Planes? What the hell am I doing here? Well, evidently, with the newest release of uh, World of War Planes 2.0, as they're calling it, they fixed the entire game. Yeah, I know. This is what I've heard, though. I haven't actually played it, but it looks very promising. So, what we're gonna do is actually gonna go see if there's actually anything we're talking about here. But it does look very interesting from what I've seen. Now, I'm just gonna jump into this with very, very little explanation. The planes that I have allotted to me here are special relics. As some of you, or actually I think all of you, will not know is I was actually in the Global Alpha for World of War planes. It was not good. Kill me! Kill me! Kill me! The engine is damaged, unable to boost. Yeah, it, um, it wasn't a good game. It was probably an, uh, just an immediate failure and was a forever, uh, the mark of just terrible failure upon wargaming in itself. Just because it was so bad, it was absolutely terrible. But I'm not going to go on about that because apparently games changed. But what we have here is these, well, four planes, three of which are from me being an alpha tester, and the I-15 Bis DM, which is, um, Russian comedy at its finest. Yes, that's a biplane. Yeah, those are jet engines on a biplane. That was for the Wargaming anniversary all the way back in 2013. Yeah. Now, what we're going to do first is play the Pegasus which I actually liked all the way back in the alpha because it was kind of comedic and actually very durable for what it was. But it was removed from the tree and replaced with something else entirely. Or rather, it may have been a premium vehicle. I'm not sure. It's been a very long time. The point is, um, there is a new game mode, which is leading the charge with most of the changes in the game. It's an objective-based game mode in which you have to bomb out control points. But let's start. stop talking and then... Actually, go, go get to play the game. We'll walk and talk here. We'll fly and talk. You know what I mean. I'm going to start with the Pegasus just on the off chance that there may actually be some, you know, finesse to this. And I don't want to ruin the game for my team. But then again, it's a Wargaming product, so my team is probably going to ruin it for me all of the time. But you know what? Let's just, let's just try and readjust. Okay, first problem. Black screen. What's going on here? Um. Hello? Hello? Um... We may have a problem here. Okay. You are approaching the area of combat operations. Be ready. Okay, that was very strange. I had to restart the game in order to get into the game. But we're playing now! Um, we'll let that one slide. But this is the new Conquest game mode, if I could actually bring up the map really quickly, or increase it in size. Apparently that's about as big as it can get. Basic layman's ter lay layman terms explanation. We're trying to capture control points by bombing the ever-loving shit out of them, and then take the control points that the enemy has. It's basically domination. But however, on, in you know, on inspection, it kind of reminds me of you know, another game mode from another game that I actually liked that is unfortunately no longer alive. We'll see about that, though. We seem to have a few of our teammates up there just kind of flying around and poking at what looks like an AI target, so we're going to poke him, too. Perfect shot. Perfect series of shots. Ah, teammate. Whoopsie. And as you can see, the, the Pegasus is quite a lethargic vehicle. Well, he's dead. Okay, now for these control points. I have bombs on me, but how do I... How do I drop them? Or how do I see where my reticle... Ah, there's the reticle. Where's the factory? We need the factory. Drop one of them here just to see what it does. 
I do get points. Therefore, it was a useful action. And that is another AI. Now, as you can see here, the controls seem like they have improved pretty dramatically, to be honest. The Pegasus isn't the best showcase of it because it is, in fact, slow as shit. But we're going to be playing all of the planes that I have in my garage before we actually make a, uh, an assumption on any of that. Let's drop our other bomb here. Oh, no, AA fire. Ah, no! Uh, evidently, uh, we are capturing that point. How we capture a base by bombing the ever-loving shit out of it, I have no idea, but okay. Let's see if we can actually make this go any faster with just straight-up machine gun fire. Does not appear so. Rather, that exploded, but I have no idea if that was actually me. Am I doing dam- I am, in fact, doing damage here. Okay, alright. I'm causing these barracks to just burst into flame on the ground with my one piddly little shikass. Then again, it is a Russian minigun, so... <laughs> the bias is strong with this one. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, what? Wait, what? Who? Where? Oh, Jesus, it's the AI again. Okay. As you can see, the enemy team is just kind of dicking around over there, which is good. And there are AI targets flying around, making everything, you know, a little bit more interesting. Hmm. A combination PvP PvE mode. Hmm, this sounds familiar. Yeah, I'm, I'm still not sure. I am still not sure. I will hold back my decisions until after we are done potentially enjoying World of Warplanes, which I'm getting that feeling where I'm actually doing something and I'm actually having kind of fun. I, just, just a little, it's weird. It's a very strange place we're entering in now. Places where wargaming products are actually entertaining. Then again, I am playing one of the slowest aircraft in the game, so we shall see. And that looks like a pretty big furball over there. And it doesn't look like there's really, there's only AI targets over here. So you know what? I'm gonna go over here and that appears to be the brain scorcher down there. Whoa! Jesus! Ow, 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 Okay, we're just gonna drop both of our bombs on this thing and just not care. Well, that took a chunk out of the base. Just trying to destroy this AA gun. I did. Ground! Oh, Jesus. Pegasus, please. Gallop. That is an enemy. That way? Actually, no. No, those are still AI. However, they are shooting the ever-loving shit out of me, and there's basically nothing I can do about it. Ah! Ah! Duh! Rolling scissors! Ah! Ah! Uh oh. Duh! Wing bed. Yeah, I know they're on my tail. Ah! Help! Well, rip. Oh, that's a shame. I guess we'll, yeah, I guess we'll just sit out and wait and just see what's, what's going on. See if our team actually manages to do something of any kind of value. But, you know, it's a wargaming product, so we're probably just going to be sitting here swearing at our stupid teammates for dying over and over again and... Wait a minute. Uh, uh, dare... Wait! Spacebar? <gasps> Respawning in a in a wargaming product. Oh my fucking god! This is actually amazing. Actually, no. Just all sarcasm aside, this is actually an amazing decision for this type of game. Even if they didn't fix the gameplay, respawning in battles in World of Warplanes would have made the game dramatically more playable. But um, yeah. Now I'm gonna make that judgment. Now you know what this reminds me of. You know that, that that game mode that's perfect in every way, aside from being in a dead game? You know, global operations in armored warfare. Hmm. Because we have PvE, PvP content, fighting over control points. There aren't any kill streaks, but yeah. Hey, get away from my teammates. Poke. Poke, 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 poke. Poke, 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 poke. Wow, Pegasus, you don't know how to stall, do you? And yay, I assisted. Well, there is a stall warning now, but it just just felt like I was helicoptering right there. But this is an arcade game. 
But now it's actually kind of a fun arcade game, which is shockingly amazing. But yeah, um... We cannot oh. support you any longer. The storm is too heavy. Uh -oh. Do you copy? Over. I'm not sure what that means, but I'm pretty sure it's AI support. But it looks like we've got a, a lot of breakaway targets right now, and this is going to be a pretty actually terrifying fight. Oh, boy. They've almost got us. Get the hell over here. Eh. Deh. Eh. I got him. Yay! Also, ah! Bad, 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 bad. That is a player. Ow, ow, whoa! Ow! Well, I'm still alive. My pilot's kind of, you know, worse for wear, but I'm still kicking. However, unfortunately, I cannot break through this gigantic fucking furball and get to the enemy base with any ch any chance of surviving. So I'm gonna try and dogfight here in my Pegasus. Excuse me. And apparently my pilot is now conscious. Apparently the, the machine spirit took over there for a minute. Eh, eh! Got the son of a bitch, good. Okay, you see, this is actually entertaining and fun, even though we're losing. Which, well, I didn't expect to win, but... You know. You know what I mean! It's fun! Just, you know, at a basic level right now. Duh. Bombs awake! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah! Ah! Oh. Turn back. The enemy force is too strong. Oh well. Well, let's see how we did. I got I got 5000 lightning bolts. I've got the power. Okay. Okay. So what did we get from that? Okay. Lots of scores, you know, scores and statistics that I have absolutely no basis on right now. Because hell if I actually played World of Warplanes beforehand, though I actually did during the Alpha, but everything's changed, so no, nothing that I actually knew, the very little that I knew actually doesn't matter anymore. This is an entirely new game at this point. But, uh, wow. Apparently, I did top damage on my fucking team. That's actually incredibly shocking. But, uh, yeah. Well, I didn't expect people who played World of Warplanes, bef you know, before the update to be any good at the video game, but hey, there you go. <laughs> All right. So, from the outset, this seems like, you know, an entertaining game now. But, let's continue playing, shall we? Next up, we're gonna try that rocket-powered biplane. Oh, what is this? Secret project? Bomber? Hmm. Okay, complete daily missions. Find bomber parts and loot crates and receive, receive for completing mission. Oh, you see, it's a, uh, it's a loot crate thing, the newest, the newest fad. But apparently we do have bombers here, which let's see here. We've got ourselves a Blenheim. And an RB-17, which is... That is a very strange-looking... It's it's Soviet, but it's a very strange-looking plane there. It's got four engines on top of each other. And an A-26 Invader. My goodness! Hello, Invader. It's been a long time. But uh, that's apparently the event going on right now. One of the other, other major updates that they've put in is adding bombers to the game, which is actually... Well, they, they seem to want... They seem to be firing on all cylinders to get, to get me to play the game. Bombers are a new class. Originally, there were only fighters, heavy fighters, and attack aircraft, ground attack aircraft. Actual level bombers are not a thing that's in the game currently. And I think it'll be a long time before we get anything like a B-29 in this game, purely because it's an arcade game. Just doesn't fit. But here's hoping. And apparently there are missions, and I will look at, at completing these, yo, know, in the future. And apparently, well, let's see here. We've got tokens. What's what's going on here? And to, oh, oh, uh, oh! Hey, look, Alpha Gold, and I can buy. But well, hang on here. Okay, so what's the what's the conversion here? We got one ticket. So what do, what do we what do we do with this? 
We got a token. So, what do we get with the token? I bought one token. What does the token give me? I see tokens up there. Hang on. Hang on! I've got to figure this out. I might get a level bomber out of this. Okay. Hmm. There are apparently daily missions to complete. Let's see here. Order loot. Oh, I buy them with token. Well, excuse me while I just break the system here. Excuse me! Um, uh, I'll just, uh, buy, um, all of them? Because fuck else am I gonna do with all this gold? Absolutely nothing. If I get a bomber out of the deal, I'll be happy. So long, gold. Also, hey, wait a minute. I have one more left. Fuck you. Give me all of that. Okay, now. Okay, switch to high altitude, but wait, there's, there's, there's shift and there's T. So if we actually get one, we actually know what we're doing here. But okay, so uh, now that I have just absolutely shekel lorded the ever loving shit out of this, let's see, if, let's open a few of these crates. Okay, credits. I do need money, and I do need these kits. So honestly, it's not like I'm not getting anything out of this. So uh, excuse me as I open all of these bomber part. Okay, we got Blenheim bomber part. We got the fuel tanks. Good. Now we just need the plane. Okay, four more tokens. I. Sure, fine. Perpetual motion loot boxes. Okay, right. XP bonuses. All right, Blenheim parts. Okay, two Blenheim parts. I don't think I'm gonna get all these parts. Engine cooling, ground verification, those are apparently uh, orders that we can give in, uh, or rather, things that we can attach to our plane. It's very complicated, but, uh, Excuse me? Oh, no loot cr I can't buy any more today. Oh, well, that's a shame. So, uh, we've got, um... Wow, that's a lot of parts. Hmm. Oh! Oh, well, son of a bitch. Well, that should have told me that beforehand! Fuckers. I kind of just spent most of it. I could have outright bought it. Son of a bitch. Oh, well. I look like an idiot, but... This is what I get for not really reading. What a shame. But hang on here. Okay, so is that kind of just the same for everything? No, those are dramatically more. Okay. Um, okay, so it's just kind of the Blenheim that's sort of, you know, passable. What about the Invader? That's still pretty pricey. I wasn't getting that. I might have got... I could have bought the Blenheim, though. Anyway, I've got plenty of planes to play anyway. But maybe I'll shekel out for those. Maybe one day, or rather, maybe in the next video, because, well, eh, they don't seem that expensive, aside from the jet bomber. Anyway, after screwing around for that many, uh, <laughs> that many minutes, let's go back into the game, shall we? Let's get our jet-powered I-15. Let's see what we can, let's see what kind of havoc we can wreck with this. Okay, we do actually have a screen now. Good, fantastic, no awkward moments. No, no, no strange black silence to precede our actual entry into the battlefield. Let's see if it actually keeps the- Yeah, yes, it did actually keep the queue time. Amazing. All right, so, different map, same general Attention. idea. You are entering the combat zone. Get ready for battle. Okay, so we're here, enemies over there, and these are all the control points. All right. Yes, and we do have those are ramjets, aka the simplest type of jet engine on a biplane. What's a ramjet? It's basically just a cylindrical tube that sucks in air, lights it on fire, and then throws it out the back for thrust. This is the most amazing level of Russian comedy I could manage. Pilots, get ready for action. And I think it's highly Let's unlikely go. that I'm ever going to actually see one of these because this is from 2013, though, uh, when the game comes back, if the game actually does come back alive, not when, if, because it's World of Warplanes, let's not get it too ahead of ourselves here. If it does, well, you're probably gonna see a lot of old people coming back. But for right now, I'm just kind of on my own. But we're a fighter now, so what we're gonna be doing is shooting things in the air. So there's gonna be a lot more action going on here. 
Oh boy, those are shakas. Ah, welcome to the lead storm, ladies and gentlemen. Might actually... Yeah. That? That's pretty much what I expected out of this. He's just melting very slowly. Very, very slowly. And that is a that's an enemy on my side. I thought that was a teammate. Hey! Get away from my fucking teammates! I'm trying not to shoot my teammates inadvertently, but I have a nose full of lead. Damn it, my Russian miniguns have overheated! I want the kill though! Yeah! Good. Now I gotta let the machine guns cool down a little. Okay, good. Can I actually damage that, though? I am actually damaging it. Good. I believe I am causing damage to those, and also my engine's overheated. Let's not try and make the biplane catch fire here. We don't want that. It's already kind of got bonfires under the wings. Now, if I destroy these AA guns, does that increase the capture points? I would hope so. It kind of does, yes, no? Something happened there. It kind of reset on me, so I have, still have no idea what's going on in this game mode. Do oh! Uh oh, ow, 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 ow. See you later, Fritz. I'm blowing things up! This should result in a base capture at some point. What the fuck is shooting at me, though? Oh, hello. I thought I blew that up. As you can see, this thing only has a two-second boost. Rather, well, I'm not exactly... What's the maximum four seconds? What's the maximum boost length of this thing? Five... Apparently, I'm doing very well here shooting the AI attempting to capture this point, and apparently I got it. Yay! Good. I am credit to Union, yes. I am super fighter now, yes. I am highly advanced 1930s Slavic engineering. Okay, but, uh, we are kinda, well, busted up here, so we're gonna attempt to fly back to the, the airfield there and get repaired. We can do that. Okay, there is an enemy fighter coming in on an area, however, I don't want to get exploded before we, you know, actually finish that. So, this is... actually, the airfield is over there. This is just a spawn point. We'll go deal with these guys in a minute, though. So, apparently, capturing the forward air bases, as they are marked in the beginning of the game and on the map, allows us to actually rearm and repair. I thought we were going to have a main base, sort of like a... sort of MOBA, ass faggot kind of game. You know what I'm talking about. But apparently, we actually have to capture them in order to use them. Which is fantastic! More of game depth! But, uh, let's see here. We are still at a pretty shit advantage here. That guy's gonna get fucked. Yeah, he's pretty fucked. Okay, so how do I repair myself? Do I land? I don't trust landing in this, but I will attempt to. Or, well, after we clear the runway. Yes, yes, Soviet space fighter, yes. I am cosmonaut. You are violating my airspace. Prepare to be destroyed. Ho <laughs> ho! He is no match for the, the immense technological superiority of their union. Yes. Ho <laughs> ho. Okay, so, um, can I land this? Is this- is this landing possible? I'm gonna say no, but you know what? I'm going to try. Wait a fucking second. Can I- can, can, I'm- Apparently I am- I am a hovercraft now. Yes? Can I land? 
I wish to land. Am I land? Is this... Does this qualify as landing? It says collision warning. I am slow, and I am unable to... I am crop dusting. The, I am... I'm paving new runway. I'm digging trench. Oh, wait, no. Ah! God! Okay, you cannot land. I do not know how to repair. They say you can, but I do not know. Oh, well. Whatever. I'm land... I, I have crashed at airbase. I can just get out. They will send me new space fighter. But apparently we have map majority now. Fantastic. It would seem faster to respawn, though. Okay. A line of thunderstorms is approaching. We'll soon be unable to provide support. Do you copy? Over. And evidently, that's the thunderstorm warning here that we have here. Evidently is apparently copying the typhoons from World of Warships. Which is interesting. Good! World of Warships is actually probably the more progressive of the wargaming titles. World of World of Tanks is kind of just stuck the way it is, i.e. being shit. But World of Warships has considerably more freedom in how it goes on, it goes about solving its problems, and as everyone knew, World of Warplanes was an absolute fucking failure, so it can basically do whatever it wants, and it would have probably resulted in the game being significantly better. As you can see now by me actually having fucking fun playing it! That's it. There's no way to bring this to you now. You're uh, on your own. Alright, well, those guys died with no input from me, but uh, let's see if we can actually get into a fight here. The Cosmonaut descends onto the unsuspecting hordes of enemies. Eh, eh, slow! Slow, I must go slow. Slow, slow, uh, good, yes. Okay, where is enemy force? There is, there is enemy heavy play. I will kill hell enemy heavy play. He has no chance against wall of Russian lead. I am out of range. What is minimum range? What is minimum range? It is 400 meters. 450 meters. That is my kill. Do not steal kill. I steal your kill. This is how this is how I do. Yes. He is dead. Good. They continue coming and they continue dying. Turn! Yes. Hey! Almost all enemy aircraft are destroyed. I'm proud of you, pilot. Well, back home. apparently if we destroy all of them, they just lose. Okay, so what did we get out of that? Aside from a lot. What is all of this? Flying start. Awarded for destroying at least three aerial targets in the first sortie. Well, yeah, I, I did that. I helped. What's that? Hat trick. Awarded for destroying at least one enemy fighter, one heavy fighter, and one attack, well, attack aircraft in a single battle and winning the battle. Yay! I, 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 am, I am very prolific air, airman. Yes, and unfortunately, now we are going to go back to the hangar, but I will see the results. <laughs> Okay. O okay. I'm having fun here. I'm not exactly sure if I'm really doing very much. I mean, I'm I'm doing a considerable amount. I did 8,000 damage, apparently. That's a lot of experience points, even for uh, a lower tier aircraft like this. So evidently I'm doing very well. I, there are other people who are actually doing not shit, so we're, I'm kind of up here, but you can see who's carrying the game here. And apparently I am higher... I have more chevrons than that man. I am superior. Yes. Good. Now, about these awards. What did we get here? Sky Knight. Awarded for destroying an, an air defense aircraft. Okay, that's the AI. Right. Okay. Best result. Grade 2 fighter. An aircraft type grade indicates the efficiency of a player's performance in aircraft of a certain type. Successful completion of a type specific missions results in a grade promotion. The same grade is assigned to all aircraft of the same type. Aircraft of different types have different mission grades. How aircraft how aircraft type grades are assigned. Blue segments indicate the progress towards completing a mission on a scale of 1 to 5. Total number of all segments correspond to a certain aircraft type grade. Okay, so basically they're aircraft rankings, or rather type rankings. So I'm apparently grade two in fighters because Russian cosmonaut biplane. 
Yes. Good. And apparently I got, well, first rank. Indicates player's efficiency compared to other players of the combat group. Depends on their aircraft type grade. Aircraft with the same grade are compared using the number of combat points earned. Hmm. Okay, I'm assuming there's a master level of that. It's just going off of World of Tanks. So there's a grant, there's a rank three, two, one, and then master. But we got one, so that's pretty okay. So, okay. Mikhailenkov Metal Class 4. Yes, I actually took the time to figure out how to pronounce that. Um, learning, awarded for learning at least 10,000 combat points. Oh, interesting. Yes. Okay, so what is this? Boyington Metal. Awarded for earning at least 300 capture points. Yes, I was trying. And what is this fancy metal here? Yes, what is this? Kosheda Metal? All right. Awarded for destroying at least five aircraft from the enemy combat group. After after the arrival of the Squall Line, and for surviving until the end of battle. Oh. Okay, so, um, apparently we are Storm Chaser now. Yes, good, good. Right. Wait a minute, hang on. It was a Soviet ace who was the highest scoring allied pilot. In 1943 and 1945, he shot down a total of 62 enemy aircraft, including a jet-powered ME-262 flying the LA-5 and LA-7. Interesting. And apparently I received tokens for that. Good, good, fantastic. Now, after we're done analyzing our stats here, and me feeling all special for flying my, my special snowflake plane and doing very well, let us, let, so now we have a general idea of how the game works, 